Irfan says, what happens to us at the time of death and up until the day of resurrection? Irfan, this is something that we don't have enough knowledge of. We know that when a person is on his deathbed, that he undergoes the process of his soul exiting his body. And this is when the angel of death takes his body. Takes, that is, let me rephrase that, when the angel of death takes his soul from his body. A believer, as the Prophet said, والسلام, would have his soul depart his body like a drop coming out of a water container, softly and nicely and without any pain. This doesn't mean that before the soul came out, he is not suffering. No, we know that people suffer before they die, either to illness, either to pain. The Prophet suffered والسلام, before his death, and he used to put his hand in a water container and wipe his face and say, La ilaha illallah, inna lil mawti sakarat. That death has agony. And we believe that a disbeliever, his soul is extracted from his body like when you have a metal rod with thorns in it dipped into wet wool and you try to extract it, extract it and take it out. It tears the wool to parts. Yet this doesn't mean that a disbeliever would not die in a peaceful way, the way we see it. The pain and the anguish and the agony is when the angel of death takes his soul, but we don't see this. So what comes before it is not an indication. The actual action is when the soul is snatched out. Then, after that, the soul is taken by the angels. The believer's soul goes up to the seventh heaven. In every heaven, the angels find a beautiful scent. And they said, who's this? And they would tell the other angels that this is so-and-so, the son of so-and-so. And they would give salam and they would yani, uh, comment and praise him. Until he reaches the seventh heaven and Allah Azza wa Jal tells the angel of death to take him back to the grave and let him rest till the day of judgment. And to open a window in his grave from paradise where he will get some of the breeze and the coolness and the beauty and he would enjoy his stay in his grave. The disbeliever, they would take his soul only to the lower heaven. He would not go any further and each group of angels that the angels of death pass by, they would find an awful odor and, 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 and scent and say, Udu Billah, whose smell is this? And they would say, he's so-and-so, the son of so-and-so. And they would nickname him with the worst of names and they would curse him. And then he would be dropped from the, seven, from the first heaven, the lower heaven, to his grave and he would smash in his grave and he would be punished by Munkar wa Nakir. And Allah Azza wa Jal would tell them to open a window from hellfire in his grave till the day of judgment. And he would be tormented and, 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 and punished. This is roughly speaking in a nutshell what will happen till the day of resurrection. What goes in between this is something what we don't have any knowledge of. We have only general knowledge and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best and may Allah Azza wa Jal protect us all.